I'm Bettina. I wanted to talk to you today about whether fertility yoga can help you lose weight and also just take a really broad look at fertility and weight and how the two are connected. So if you're brand new around here, big welcome to you. My name is Bettina Ray. I'm a yoga teacher. I specialize in yoga for fertility, pregnancy, birth and early motherhood. I personally have had my own fertility struggles, so I'll link that above and below for you to check out. So I make this video because I often get a lot of women reaching out to me via email saying their doctors have asked them to lose weight before that they'll do any sort of fertility testing or fertility treatment. And they come to me seeking help for losing weight specifically for their fertility. And I think it's a valid point to talk about because to me, fertility and excess weight are both symptoms of a problem in the body. It's not the weight is causing the fertility problems, it's the fertility problems and the weight are symptoms of something else out of balance in the body. I think the Western system can sometimes look at problems in the body too individually rather than looking at the whole system. This is why I really love the traditional Chinese medicine perspective of the whole body as well as Ayurveda, yoga sister science, because it really takes into account a whole system and not just the physical system, but the mental, the emotional, the spiritual as well, which I honestly think is so important. You can't do one without the other. So I think when you start looking at your weight and trying to change your weight for fertility, yes, you're on the right track. But I think if you stay focused on, I need to lose 20 kilos or whatever the number is for you, then you're kind of missing the point a little. Rather than focusing on, I need to lose this weight, I think you need to focus on, I need to bring my body back into balance because when I bring my body back into balance and my life back into balance, further than that, when I bring my life back into balance, my body will be back into balance, my weight will be back into balance and my fertility will be back into balance. So it's really, everything kind of flows on. So what does life out of balance look like? Obviously for the weight, you're eating too much and you're not moving enough, but this might be because you are working too much, you're in a really sedentary job where you're not moving, maybe you're highly stressed at work because we know that stress affects how our body holds on to weight, maybe emotionally something's going on in your life and you're not putting the right foods in your body because rather than seeing food as something to fuel your body, you're using it as a bit of a therapy, which hands on heart, lots of us have done. We've definitely all eaten our feelings at some point in our life, but for some people it's a bigger problem than others. So I don't say this to make you feel embarrassed about it. I say this because I think sometimes we just focus so much on we're overweight and we need to lose the weight, but really the problem is our life, which has put our body out of balance, which has put our fertility out of balance. So if you're looking to lose weight, let me answer the question, can yoga help you to lose weight for fertility? 100% it can, but maybe not in the way you're thinking. It's not necessarily going to be an intense physical activity to make your body start sweating and using the energy. Because for many people who are very overweight, the problem is not necessarily exercise. If you just add exercise in, it's not gonna fix the problem. The problem starts within. It's about the food, it's about the water, it's about the mental track that's going on in your head, what you're saying about yourself, it's about your emotions, how you feel about yourself, how you feel about your body, about your life. Maybe it's about the spiritual stuff as well. Maybe you're so disconnected from who you are in here that you don't know how to care for your body in the right way. So how can yoga help with this? Let me first start by saying you can't do one yoga class and hope to lose weight for fertility. I really hope to share the message with you that the best benefit that yoga can give you is when you approach it as a practice, as something that maybe you do once a week, but you do consistently. It might be every day, which is awesome, and of course more is going to be better. Maybe it's that you adopt a yogic mindset or a yogic perspective and sort of apply that to all of your life, which is sort of the ultimate goal. It's not about what we do on the mat, it's about how that impacts what we do in the rest of our life. So how can yoga help you lose weight for fertility? The more you practice, the more you're gonna feel into your body. You're gonna connect the mind and body again. Instead of just living up here where we often like to live, you're gonna notice that, hmm, I don't really feel comfortable eating a really heavy meal and then doing some yoga. So maybe you might start for a couple of hours before each time you practice eating a lighter meal. And then maybe that carries on into the rest of your life as well, where you notice, mm, I don't really like going to bed with a full belly. So I'm gonna stop eating a couple of hours before bed. And then maybe it flows on to, 
you eat certain foods and you start noticing, hmm, it doesn't really sit well with me. Maybe I'll stop with the dairy products or maybe I need to stop eating gluten. I'm not saying anything bad about either of these options, but they're often the common ones that people first start to notice doesn't really sit well in their body. So we start noticing, that's gotta be the first real gift that yoga gives us, is we start to notice what doesn't really feel good in our body. Yoga also gives us tools to deal with difficult emotions, which I honestly think a lot of our weight problems come from. We don't know how to deal with difficult emotions. Maybe we've been taught to eat our emotions. Maybe as a child, whenever something went wrong, we felt upset, mum or dad said, here, come and have something to eat, it will make you feel better. And that has been how we continue to feed any difficult emotions that we come across. So yoga helps us to sit in the difficult emotions, to be able to breathe through it. So we use breath and movement. Sometimes we might use meditation or mantra or positive affirmations to deal with difficult emotions. And suddenly you have all these skills. So when you have a difficult day at work and maybe you stuff up and you're feeling ashamed and just that sick, awful feeling in the belly, Maybe instead of going to the pantry next time and needing to eat away those emotions, maybe you can come onto your mat and take a breath. Or maybe you don't even get on your mat. Maybe you can just breathe on the way home in the car. And it's, it's not gonna happen just like that. It really is a practice and it really will unravel for you. To start with, you just notice how often that you binge or that you eat extra food that you don't need. And then gradually, little by little, you start being able to say no to a few things. You might still slip up and have a binge here and there, but slowly they'll get better. You'll start making better choices and little by little, you'll start to notice that the body will balance out, which will mean that the weight will fall off a little. And as a beautiful side effect of that, when our body is its healthiest, our fertility, our reproductive system is its happiest and you're gonna have a better chance of conceiving a baby. So we also know yoga is amazing for stress relief. So everything we do in yoga really is about bringing that nervous system down. So most of our lives are like up here. We're like stressed and busy and achieving and hustle. And even when you're struggling with fertility, that's up here too, because you're like, when is it gonna happen? Why can't I do this? Everyone else is falling pregnant. It's my body that's failing, especially if you're overweight, because you feel like you can physically see and feel this what feels like a failure because your body is not doing what it should be doing, especially if you're trying to lose weight and you've been doing all the diets and trying to do all the, the right stuff, but you haven't addressed what's under it, it can feel like you're failing. And that's just creating more stress. So yoga is gonna help you to come down from that. So from that more grounded place, you're more likely to make better choices about the food that you're eating, the movement, even to the people you're spending time with, the way that you nurture your body and look after yourself, the mental soundtrack, so what you're telling yourself about yourself, so turning off that mean girl that lives in your head and tells you you're hopeless and that you're never gonna have this baby. It's not until we can kind of come down from the stress that we can sort of deal with those things. And of course, we know that stress makes us gain weight because it makes us try and deal with the stress by eating more, it makes us tired, it's so energy draining, it takes all our energy because we're dealing with the stress, our body's on high alert, it's a, it takes a lot of energy to be like on high alert all the time, so bringing the body down with yoga will calm all that down so you're not going to need to eat as much, you're not going to be exhausted, so you're more likely to go and do some sort of movement that will make you feel good. And so finally, on a practical level, just the physical movement of the body in a yoga practice will help you lose weight. So yoga is not all just lying on the floor and you will notice some of my classes are higher intensity, are stronger, are gonna make you sweat, and others are more gentle. So the combination of both is really gonna help you if you are trying to lose weight for fertility. So you're gonna need the really gentle, grounding classes to bring the stress levels down, but you may also need some of the high intensity to start moving some of that energy that you've got stuck in the body, because that's gonna help you start to have more fresh, vibrant energy. It's gonna give you a confidence boost, an endorphins boost, so you know that beautiful high you get from sweating and moving. And little by little, it's gonna increase your fitness as well, so that you're able to move more, feel more comfortable in your body, and start to bring that beautiful balance back. All right, so I hope that I have explained that well enough. So if you have any other questions about fertility or weight loss that I didn't cover, feel free to leave them in the comments below. 
If you would like to jump into a fertility yoga practice, I have a free guide that I'll link below for you so you can download that one and get started. I also want you to know that fertility challenges are really unique and individual to each person. So this is why I offer personalized yoga therapy sessions. So here on the Sunshine Coast, I offer them in person, but if you are somewhere else in the world, we can do them via email and Skype as well. And I create personalized videos for you. I have really individualized tools and resources to use at home to start bringing your life back into balance. If you would like to know more about a yoga therapy session with me, I'll link that one below as well. Otherwise, I would just like us to finish our video here because sometimes the frantic pace of YouTube can be a little bit stressful. So let's just end our video with a little bit of peace. So you might like to bring the hands to heart or you can bring the hands to your belly. I just want you to take a really deep breath in. And take a really long, slow exhale. Thank you for being here. Keep in touch. I'm sending you all my love and hope. <music>